Well, Ortho, we're all done. I'll see you next week. All right. Later, feelings, bro. And Ortho, what up? You know what's stronger than any bone in the human body? Your heart. No, it's not. Oh, it's a, it's a metaphor. It, don't worry about it. I'll see you next week. All right. Later, bro. <laughs> I love my job. Are you sure about that? Do you really love it, or are you just telling yourself that because you're afraid to acknowledge the reality that a career in medicine isn't quite what you thought it would be? You know, you can't ignore me forever. I'm not going anywhere. Eventually, you'll have to answer me. What do you want from me? It's been a while since we last talked. I've been busy, you know that. Ah, yes, tending to the needs of every other doctor in the hospital while ignoring your own mental health. Oh, don't be dramatic. I'm not ignoring you. Is that why you locked me away with all of your repressed memories? What? That's right. I've been hanging out with the Krebs cycle. Really? On the weekend, we get together with the coagulation cascade and the time a surgeon made you suture in med school. Listen, I'm sorry. I can't help you right now. I'm making too much progress here. What progress? The radiologist is down to one pair of indoor sunglasses, and surgery has almost learned anesthesia's name. I can't stop now. Okay, what about you? You're talking to yourself in a mirror right now. Oh, my mental health is just fine. Psychiatry, you can't take care of patients until you take care of yourself first. Sure I can. If you don't take care of yourself, you'll burn out. And if you burn out, you won't be able to conduct therapy sessions. And if you can't conduct therapy sessions... Well, I think you know what happens. Neurosurgery's ego will consume us all. That's right. So take care of me, so you can take care of everyone else. <laughs>